How do you feel? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that you guys called me, considering I busted my face open. Yeah. Damn, son. I know, son. Came to see my left eye. How's that doing? It? It's, it's good. It's not too bad. Oh, dude, you can't even tell. It's a tiny it's little a, scar. Yeah. Yeah. You spin, bro? I spin a little, bro. How many SPMs you clocked that at? This one's about 70, 72. So, Brett, there's no one that takes a harder fall in our videos than you. Even when we don't ask you to do it, you still do it. And you, like, you commit really hard, but you always get up at the end. Thankfully. So I was wondering if you could share with myself and everybody else watching, how do you take a fall without hurting yourself? Oh my god, dude! Freaking flying zombie! What is your secret? I know you grew up skateboarding and doing a lot of that, but I want to learn a little bit about this, this technique. How about you're just minding your own business one day, mm -hmm. but you have this rare disease that causes you to turn into a rag doll once in a while. Okay. And so spontaneously you'll just rag doll <laughs> up next to the ground. It's basically my knees collapse. You start with your knees collapsing. <laughs> what the fuck was that? All right, Nico, you try. So, so all right, start with your knees. Basically, you keep your your legs straight, mm -hmm. and then just start with like a little bend. Mm -hmm. And once you feel that bend, you kind of just like. How do you avoid hitting your head? You just hold. <laughs> look at Ren. You don't you don't stiff your neck, but you just keep it loose and just up a bit. You didn't put your hand out at all or anything like that. Well, I, I trust myself. I think that's the thing too is trust and, and knowing how your body's gonna fall before you actually fall. It's like. There you go. <laughs> how do you feel? I feel I feel great. <laughs> Yo. Nico and his quest to make the perfect Battlegrounds video. One of the characters has a really unique Spetsnaz helmet. It's a Russian Special Forces bulletproof helmet. This is an old beekeeper's mask. This is an airsoft helmet. And then I've got this visor from this janky fireman's hat. Basically, I'm gonna put them all together, cover this with something, it starts to work. I'm gonna work with what we got here and make a janky Spetsnaz helmet. So you probably already know this, but we are selling some incredible Peter 42 tees designed by a Fran Drew. They're also in baseball tee style as well. Also, uh, good news, we've upgraded our shirts into this incredible, nice, durable, thick Hanes t-shirt cotton, and uh, it makes the print last a lot longer on these shirts. Uh, we're really excited to start carrying these for all our shirts. <laughs> so, Brett, let's say you were uh, minding your own business and you get sniped. Okay. Where's the bullet hit? Yeah. Let's see, let's see two hits. Let's see a shoulder hit, and you're like, what? And then headshot. Okay, shoulder and head. Oh, you're gonna shoot it next? Yeah. All right. Damn! <laughs> Dude, that was just like straight flat to the ground. How did you land on your back, like solid like that, um, without getting the wind knocked out of you? This isn't soft either. I guess I just trust myself enough to hit when I hit, just to kind of absorb it with my back too. And I'm using my, my, like my lower back as well when I hit. You're staying pretty relaxed? Pretty relaxed, yeah. So, shoulder. And then head. Oh. But I'm not hitting like my, you know, I'm just hitting like, yeah. Did that even knock the wind out of you? I breathe out right before I take the hit, <clears throat> just so it's like when I hit, I don't keep that air in. When you're rolling out of something, is there a, a special technique you use? Like, how do you not keep from just like breaking your ankles and like collapsing to the ground? When you roll? Yeah. Roll. I don't, it's using your back and your shoulder, really. Hmm. Um, like your shoulder goes in first and then your back rolls. Man. So you're spreading the impact out over a lot of your body and also making your mind continue forwards. Yeah. So a lot of the energy doesn't actually get absorbed, it actually mm -hmm. just continues. If I was to try falling on my back like you did, where you just kicked out and of landing on your back. Trade Ooh, me. Okay. It's always good to have two shots for me. If you're hitting a shoulder, you get shot and you still use that momentum from this mm -hmm. to throw yourself backwards. Oh, you're going down. Well, I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but the quarter digital format of making viral short films isn't supported on YouTube at all. I mean, yes, a little bit. Don't get People me wrong. enjoy them. People enjoy them. We love making them, but it's not like our main source of revenue. We do it because we love it. Now I'm gonna drill some pilot holes. This just comes off too, so I can work on that separately. My calculations, I need a T25. Of course it's not here. Why would it be here where it belongs? I think nails right here, by the way. So you can hang shit. Don't get me wrong. I love everybody here. But sometimes working here is like working with a bunch of teenagers. Bada bing. All right, we're in business. 
Now, I'll put the lining back in, and then I will work on a piece to cover this so that you get a solid plate. Are you ready? How do you feel? I landed on my side more than my back. I kind of chickened out on the back hit. No, chicken out. Right now, you're landing at like a 45 degree angle and then going down, whereas the trick is you actually got to land flat. That was a lot better. All right, I still put my hands down. You bet you landed flat this time. But I didn't quite land on my shoulders like Brett instructed you to. But I feel okay. I need to try not to stop myself with my hands. Because that doesn't do anything, it just makes the fall look shitty. I'll do something like that. <laughs> I'm gonna be sniped. <clears throat> What's your method? Wing it. <laughs> I always treat it like like a like a light punch, you know, like I keep my body a little loose too, so you're able to do that kind of stuff. So, and then I use this as you push back. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Is there a sniper around? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? I don't feel good at all. <laughs> <laughs> you like didn't relax at all. I did. That was so tense. That was like the worst thing to do. I gotta do that. I gotta do that again. <laughs> I can never do that. I think it was I didn't exhale when I crashed. My whole body are you, just. Are you breathing? Or are you tense? I was tense. All right, you gotta also, you were rounded back. Was I? Up, man. I got. I got to arch my back more. It was not. That... Not too much like that. You'll, break, you'll probably break something. Just. Just slight. You know, like just very light. Sam, you want to slide, Brad? So. See, I'm laying on my right side rather than flat on my back. Up. That's oh. actually oh. really oh. Up at the ceiling. Like, where? Counter work. Like this is kip up. It's about as far as I get. <laughs> and Kips, check this out, dude. <laughs> Every <Everybody> hit! <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, these guys did a number on this blade, dude. We're gonna have to replace that blade. Every time I go to find something. What are you looking for now? Just a pencil that I keep in here. There's a pencil by your foot. Mm, this isn't it, but it'll do. Huh. That's where it goes. <laughs> what? Check this out. Ready? My hand's empty. I'll go under the table and pick up. Oh, dude, yeah, that's where the glue goes. I might sound like I'm just complaining, which I kind of am. Having a clean workshop where it's not, yeah, it's all of these tools are really expensive. People don't really understand, like, like this is a this is a hundred and twenty dollar power drill. It's like a hundred dollar jigsaw. You have thousands of dollars worth of equipment in here. You know, I've tried multiple different ways to get people to pay more attention to it, but at least we got the camera room a little bit more figured out. Look, in the time that it takes the glue gun to heat up, I bet you I can clean up half of this workshop. So you're on, dude. Yeah, we filmed all these shirt pushes on one day. And guess what? You got one day left to get these Peter 42 shirts as well. So if you haven't gotten one yet or are interested, check out quarterdigital.com slash store. We're also selling these in an incredible baseball tee style as well, screen printed. So check them out before they're gone. Well, you're talking about walls. Uh -huh. You're like running into walls. Walls are fun. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, let's create situations. I think situations help me better too. You guys come around the corner and Nico stops here and blasts the zombie that's pursuing him. <laughs> My name is Lance Masterson, <laughs> uh, a trucker turned survivor when the world uh, was infected, but it didn't infect me because I was in my truck. Now I've been searching this gas station for food. Hey man, you okay? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm good, son. Dude, cool. the extra flop at the end, so good. Did I do this? No. Okay. 
Having something to react off of when doing a stunt, it's like, for me, it's that extra, like, initiative to actually do it, you know? So I noticed, like, when you came at the wall, you didn't just hit the wall, you sold the stunt on how hard you flung everything up to the wall. So it's like, you snapped your hair back, you snapped your arms, you made it look like you were basically struck by lightning, flopped down to the ground, and when you hit the ground, I also noticed that you did the kind of same thing, like, got struck by lightning again, where, like, when you hit the ground, you sold the impact by flicking everything again. Yeah, definitely two impacts, so you can definitely react off off of it. Like, especially when I hit the ground, I'm able to kind of, you know, do an extra roll out of it, you know, mm -hmm. like land on my face or something. Or... So I feel like I should take what I learned and be the zombie this time. Okay, I'm down to shoot you. <laughs> Half of the tape, there's half the workshop. The gun's not even hot yet. Someone's gonna fucking saw their hands off with this thing. I know it. Carbon fiber? The glue gun's hot. There's still some spray paint on the ground, I'll admit. How long did that take? Five minutes. I got the great big glove to the greasy Grammy. I got the greasy Grammy go for guts in my Grammy. Don't get your Grammy guts on my Grammy. Pretty good. Hey man, you good? That was really good. Did it? How's it feel? It felt fine. I just, I just kind of tried to f explode everything before I hit the wall, and then actually sl uh, pushed off the wall with my hand um, to like, fling myself off it and like spin down to the ground. That was good. So what I think could really sell is that impact of the bullet. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't do the first one very well. Oh. My hit on the ground was good, but my first bullet impact wasn't any good. I was basically like just getting ready for this move and like did that. <laughs> Nice. I went for the two yeah. stage there. <laughs> yeah, that's good. yeah, all the all the different techniques. All right, Brett. Yeah, well, yeah. hopefully you saved some people uh, some hopefully, injury. Hopefully, if yeah. they slip on ice or something like that, they're like, <gasps> just like if a character and like commit and also like relax. No SIM card. No SIM card. Mm -hmm. So Peter has been using this Sony phone since his phone broke, and I just found buried away in the cable box in the equipment room broken phone and these these are our phones that we have here i thought peter broke it and hit on <laughs> that was not me <laughs> it was not him it was not peter but someone broke one of the studio phones and hit it in a cable box oh, dude, what? we have I a think. we have a mystery we have an investigation on our hands dude, the fingerprints are, oh no, probably tainted it. it was actually spotless really when i found it they, they wiped, wiped it down. down they wiped it <sighs> It's professional. Dude, get your hat and magnifying glass. We got a mystery to solve, Peter. 